So for this session, you just need uh, some form of weight to do a couple of upper body moves. So something to do a shoulder press with. <clears throat> Maybe you can either use a band or a tea towel to shoulder press and to row. In case you're just pulling that band apart or using dumbbells, kettlebells. So we can use these dumbbells to do our lateral raise or shoulder press. Or shoulder exercises, depending on what you want to do. And then a barbell, dumbbells or a kettlebell. Like this one to do our rows. Okay, but it can all be done with a tea towel or a band or a mini band. Okay, so we're going to start a warm up. Everyone pretty much knows this inside out now, so here we go. Jumpy jacks to start with. Nice and easy to start with. Let's go. So, welcome to our cardio hit session. We call it extra cardio hit, or it's extra cardio hit. Because we'll be doing more cardio than hit than we normally do anyway. So just do a nice and steady jumpy jacks to start with. Okay, heel flicks. So remember, if you're one of our members and you feel in your health questionnaire, you get stuck in. If you're not one of the members, you do this at your own risk. You get the most out of it, work hard. It'll be good fun if you're not good hard fit. Okay, so we make these sessions hard, but there's always easier options. And if you need to miss a little bit, that's fine. If you can keep up with the whole thing, that's brilliant. But they are knees up. So they are designed to be challenging. If you're really struggling, just take it down a gear. So you can actually complete it. That's more important. Okay, so the next move we're going to do is reverse lunge and reach. Okay, just knees up halfway. So on the reverse lunge, reach up the same arm, same leg. Step back on the right, reach with the right. Uh, backwards and reach back up. And backwards with the hand. Good, so remember stretching out these hip flexors. All the way up through this side as well. So we're pushing them backwards, not over the top. Good. Then next we're going to squat and twist. Okay, here we go. Squat and twist. Squat. Twist to one side. Then the other. Squat. Twist. Squat. Twist. Good, then we're going into that press up position, step and reach. Press up after both moves. Step, squat. Here we go, into press up position. Step, reach, switch side. Step, reach, press up. Oh. Press up, step, reach. Step, reach, and press up. And back into our jumping jacks. Just a little bit quicker this time. And can mix them up. Go back to our heel flicks. Good. A little bit higher than last time, three quarters of the way up. <clears throat> there we're going back to knee raises. Yeah, oh, a little bit higher, three quarters of the way up. And a little bit faster. Good, knees up. Good, then next we're going to go to this forward lunge. 
and twist. So if you step on the left foot, twist to the left hand side. Here we go, step, twist, back into the middle, stand up and back. So you stand it up and backwards. That's good work. Twist, up, yourself on balance. Next we're going into a press up position. Drop the hips, lift the hips, do a press up. Here we go, press up position, drop the hips, lift the hips, in through, stretch out the abs. Go up, stretch out the back of the legs, do a press up, stretch out through the abs, through the legs, sweep in if you can, warm up the shoulders, back up, one more press up. And once more, back into our jumping jacks. Really quick this time. Should we start to breathe a bit heavier? Good, then our switches. Next we're doing heel flicks. All the way up to the, uh, the heels. Here we go. Taking those heels all the way up. Four more moves to do. Next one, our knee raises, nice and high with the knees. Get the knees up nice and high. Good, then we're going to do leg swings. <clears throat> Good, knees up. Should be breathing a bit harder still. Get that heart rate going, get the lungs going. Fired up. We're going to smash this hit section into the park. And close Monday on a high. Here we go, leg swings. Just a nice straight leg. Showing you're stretching out through the back of the hamstrings. All these great mobility stretches. Next we're doing arm circles, forwards and backwards, and then chest stretch. Okay, circling forwards, remember to reach high at the top. Big reach. And backwards. And one more move after this. Our chest stretches. And to all set your upper arm. And we're going to walk out. Walk out to a press up, walk the hands back. And to alternate the arm you move first. Here we go. Reach. And up. And rest there. Good work for the warm up, anyway. So many to miss one, I don't know how. Every Monday, I miss one of the things on a warm up squat and reach. Did the squat and reach. Never mind, we're all warmed up, ready to go. So like I said, for this session, you're going to need something to row with, something to press with, or if you've got dumbbells out to the side. So if you haven't got any weights, you can use a band or a tea towel. So see, we're going to row with it. You know, do this bent over row, pulling your band apart, and you can use a shoulder press. You'd only need this on a few moves. So this one, 
So I set this timer up. It should have been called Relentless Cardio Hit. Okay, so we've got a couple of pairs of exercises. One is CV, we'll do for 30 seconds. One is a static move, so upper body, the next one will be legs, upper body, legs, upper body. Okay, so we do the first pair, which is jumping jacks and press ups, three times through, 50, 30 seconds on the CV exercise, the jumping jacks, 15 on the press ups, rest for 45 seconds, then we hit the next pair. Okay, there's five pairs to do, and we're going around the whole thing twice. Okay, so it looks a bit ominous on this beeper because it says we're going to do it all 40 times. You've got to remember 10 of those are um, rest. So it's going to take exactly 30 minutes to do this one. And we'll literally go from start to finish, all five pairs, twice through. So the first one, you don't need any kit until the third pair. So don't worry about that just yet. So the first one, we're going to do jumping jacks, but with shoulder press arms. So push out like so for 30 seconds. Then we're into press ups for 15 seconds. Just listen out for the beeps. Three times through, 45 seconds rest, then we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, everyone ready? So here we go. Jumpy jack, shoulder press arms. Three, two, one, let's go. Push up. That's good. As you jump out, arms out, push your hands up, arms out, hands up. Try and get the hands below the armpits when you're here, so nice and low. A big full range of movement. And a strength of press ups when it beeps. Press ups. Let's get a little bit longer on these CV moves. Up, up with the arms. Listen for the beeps. There we go. Press ups. Good first reps, it's only 15 seconds. That's good. Back into your jumpy jacks, shoulder press arms. Keep going, keep going. Ten more seconds. I'll tell you where to change. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Good. Change into press ups. We keep going, press ups. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and change. Back into our jumpy jacks, shoulder press arms. Get one more of this pair. Okay, then back into press ups. That's good. Press up. Good fast reps. And rest for forty five seconds. That's good. Just rest for forty five seconds. Okay, next one. We're sprinting on the spot, fast feet, and then doing squats. Okay, do static squats. We're not doing any jump moves on this. So either wide leg squat or normal squat or just mix them up. So sprinting on the spot with fast feet, so little steps. Going in 15 seconds. So when you hear the next beeps, that's our call. On the next beep. Here we go in three, two, well, on, sprint. Nice and fast, nice and fast. Get that heart rate up. Really fast, really fast. So small steps. You don't have to bring the feet up very high. You just need to go fast. You want to really get this heart rate up. Cardio hit. Nice and fast. And we're going to go into squats. 
Keep going, keep going. Little spins. Little steps. And keep going, keep going. And squats. I'm just doing wide leg. So the way you do them, make sure your toes and knees are in line. You're going fast. Now back into our sprint. Here we go. Now the cardio hit. Trying to get this heart rate really high. If you're not really blowing now, you should be going faster or bring the knees up a little bit higher. Let's go, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm going to do normal squats next. Remember, no jumping on any of these. Here we go, normal squats. Make sure your toes and knees are in line. Force the heels into the floor. And back into our sprints, let's go. Once more, once more. Let's go, knees up, knees up, knees up. Go as fast as you can. When you're out of breath, that heart pounding. Keep going, keep going. Next one, I'm gonna do squats again. I'll go wide leg squats. Again, no jumps. Rest coming up. And rest, good work, good work. Okay, next one you need your row, something to row with. Okay, you got 45 seconds rest, ignore, ignore the next beeps. Okay, so if you've got band, tea towel, whatever, you can do your rows with this. Okay, do a bent over row. Quite difficult to do an upright row with that band. If you've got a kettlebell, when you do an upright row, got a barbell bent over, upright, whichever way you want. Okay, this next one, we're going to do 15 seconds. We're going to do seal jacks. This time, hands out, in when your feet come in. Hands apart, hands in, when your feet come in, and then row. Here we go. Seal jacks. Or, 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 or. Chuck us a ball, somebody chuck us a ball. Balance on my nose. Or, 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 seal jacks, nice and quick. Your arms apart, arms apart. Now, the next exercise is any form of row, bent over, upright. So if you do renegade row, press up position of row if you want. Just as long as this exercise is getting the heart rate up, let's change. And we're trying to do fast reps with these static exercises, but go quick, or as quick as you can under control. Maybe we're working down as well as up. And again, back into our seal jacks. Keep those hands to shoulder height. Keep going, keep going, keep going. My friend of a row in a sec. Keep going. Let's change. One more pair, one more pair of this one. There we go. Seal jacks, go. If you feel this work through your shoulders as well, keeping your hands up at this height. Taking the back of the shoulders as you pull back. One more row to do. And row. Here we go. Hop. And rest. Yeah, 45 seconds rest. Good work, guys. Good work. So 
So again, ignore the first peeps. That's the only way to go. So next ones, we're sprinting on the spot and doing lunges. So the first set of lunges I'm going to do reverse, then the next two static lunges. What we say about static lunges, just in this position. So keeping the feet still to overload one side. Not yet, don't go yet. So back to sprints and then lunges. You either go forwards, backwards or copy me. I'm just going to mix them up. I'm changing the exercises a little bit. Okay, so sprints again, let's go. Let's go, hit it hard, fast, fast, fast. Fast speed, really get his heart rate up. Speed, speed, speed. Remember I said the first one I'm gonna do reverse lunges, then the next two static. Also it helps me to remember the camp. <laughs> as well as variation, it's good. Here we go. And a good fast rep, under control. A slam that knee into the floor. So just touch the mat if you've got one, or just above it if you haven't. Here we go, sprint. Fast, fast, fast. Heart rate up. Let's go to the side. Next, I'm going to do static lunges. You do what's best for you. We'll follow me if you can. Static lunges up harder because you get to do more reps and you isolate one part of the legs. That's good. Here we go. So down. And you're going up and down, not forward and back. Up and down. Try not to overstride. Try and make sure you step shoulder width apart to the side. And back to our sprint. <clears throat> keep going, keep going, keep going. So next one, static lunges. Just change the forward leg. Here we go. So down and up, not forward and back. Make sure your feet shoulder width apart to the sides this way. Feet in line. And rest. Good work. So again, 45 seconds rest. Last pair in our first full circuit of five pairs. Okay, this time we're going to do shoulder press and plank jacks. What I mean by plank jacks is do this in a press up position, feet apart, feet together. Okay. If you want to hit the core more, do this in the plank position. Okay, we're going in 15 seconds. So maybe you need dumbbells or a band or anything to shoulder press with, or if you can use dumbbells, maybe out to the side, which I'm going to do. Here we go, plank jacks for three, two, one, let's go. Look forwards. Nice straight body, flat back. Good, keep going. Ten more seconds. And fast changeovers, okay? Nice and quick on the change. Let's go. So okay, lateral raise, just hitting the shoulders in a different place. Shoulder press, all that raise. Then on your weights, or if you're using a band. Here we go again. Plank jacks, or press up position jacks. Sweat's pouring off. And again, shoulders, shoulders, work those shoulders. Good, 
Here we go. So you should be mega out of breath. Maybe it's challenging. If you need to rest a bit, do so. If you need to miss one, do one, miss one. Keep that body straight. Check out the shoulders. Keep going. About five more seconds. No, it wasn't. It was there. <laughs> Once more on the shoulders. It's quite a big ask after that. Press up position move. Always works the shoulders. And rest. That's one full set down, guys. We're going round again. 45 seconds rest. And we're going to hit it again. Now the first one, jumping jacks, shoulder press arms, and then press ups. You're doing great, guys. Looking good on Zoom. Hope you're getting stuck in on Facebook. It's only 15 seconds, okay? 15 seconds. Now the jump jack, shoulder press arms. Go five. There you go. Three, two, one. Well, let's go. And then we're doing press ups. Then we quick changeovers. I try and get about seven, eight, or even nine reps if you can. Fast reps. Put those arms down, all the way down, all the way up. Here we go, press ups. Eleven, excellent. Let's go again. To count the reps, see if you can do the same number again. Keep working hard, guys. Keep working hard. We're on the other side of this workout now. Get the heart rate up. Breathing hard. Quick changeovers. Straight body. Drive his hands into the floor. Ah, oh, ten. Fail, ten. Just needs to work hard on the first set. <laughs> one more. Last pair of this one. Never taking them off. Four more after this. Oh, easy, easy, easy. It's not. <laughs> and if it is, you need to go faster. Here we go, press up. One more set. 40 hands into the floor. And rest, great work. 45 seconds rest. Now we're back into our sprints and squats. Ignore these first beeps. Doing great, guys. Great work. So, my next one sprinting on the spot and then squats. Again, I mix my squats up just so I can remember how many we've done. Very easy to forget. You've got about 10 things to think about. So here we go, squats. So sprints first, then squats. Three, two, one, let's go hit it. Fast, fast, fast. But a massive rest, 45 seconds. That's a huge rest. So now, if you're agreeing and more advanced, you can start throwing in some jumps here. Here 
All right, do normal squats, wide squats, jump jacks, jumpy squats. Depending on how hard you want to make it. Keep going, those legs are. Good. Now we're working hard, but at your ability, so you can keep it going. Spread. Oh, that adds a bit more, that did. That definitely adds a bit more. The next time you do side jump squats, side to side, facing that way, jump side to side. Many doing that because I was a very naughty boy this weekend, drank too much. This is a penance for it. Punishment. You go squat jump. Up. Just do normal squats. And sprint. Yowch. One more pair. Next one I'm going to do squat, squat jump, every other one to jump. Just for variety, not because I'm hanging out. <laughs> variety. Here you go, squat, squat jump. Rest coming up, three more pairs to smash. And rest. Good job, guys. Good job. Well done. <sighs> okay, so next pair, seal jacks and rows. Remember, these are seal jacks. And you're bent over row with your band or a bit of rope, tea towel, or with your weights, dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever you got. So here we go, 15 seconds. And we're ready to go again. Seal jacks are going to be the starter. And then rows of any form. So we hit the back, really important. We work the back. Here we go, three, two, one. Hit it. Make sure you're nice and close to your weights. Just quick changeovers. And when you're doing this exercise, engage your abs. Just suck in the belly button a little bit. You don't have to go, just tighten them up. Ready to go then. Here we go, rows. Remember, fast reps, but under control. Don't sacrifice your technique or speed. Stay tall, squeeze the abs. Force the feet into the floor, slight bend in the knees. Here we go again. Seal jacks. As always, if you can, speed it up. If you're struggling, slow down. If you're feeling this in the back of the arms, do normal jumping jacks. This one's going to really hit your deltoid and rear deltoids, the rear part of your shoulders. Here we go, row. And again, once more. And again, keep going, keep going. Make it look easy. Neighbours be jealous. Make your jealous, neighbours jealous. Keep going. Beat it up if you can. Make sure you move nice and close to your weight. Don't want to waste those precious seconds. Here we go, row. Good strong work, guys. And rest. We can work two left, two left. 
So our next one, we're back onto our sprints and then lunges. So again, I'll be doing forwards lunges, backwards lunges, trying to do those static ones. I'm going to chuck in a couple of jumps. The first one, I'll jump. Second one, reverse. Next one, jump. So I'll do what I'm doing. I'm going to make it hard to jump on all of them. And the static or reverse or forward lunges. Mix them up if you can remember. Otherwise, just hit it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sprinting on the spot. Head nice and fast. Spring, spring, spring. If it's not hitting your lungs enough, bring your knees up higher. If they're too low. Knees go faster. You need more energy with the knees up higher. So remember, lunges. It's coming. I can do forwards, backwards, or static. I'm going to jump. Follow me if you can, especially if you're a green. Here we go. Now it's still under control though. Jump up, switch legs. Gently touch the knee to the floor. Always in control of your body. And again, sprint. Oh, that hits the spot. Keep digging out blind, guys. Only two of these pairs left. We're almost through the hurt first half of this one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So I'm going reverse. If you can, jump. Let me keep that chest up. Try not to overstride. Keep these legs in line with as best as your flexibility and injuries allow. That bit's really important. And again. That's one of these sprints. Keep going. Keep going. You've done amazingly well tonight, folks. This was a toughie. It's a lot of cardio. That's why it's called cardio extra hit. Or extra cardio hit. Oh, got more food lunges. <laughs> Too busy talking. Lunge, lunge, lunge. That's good, and rest. Amazing work. One more set to do, one more pair. Three times through. 90 seconds of actual fizz. So the first one, press up position and jacks <coughs> or plank. I'm going to do press up position, then plank, then press up position. Again, just to change it up. You want to make it harder on the core, you want to be in the plank position. If you ever exercise any shoulder move, so either lat raise or press with your weight or your band, T towel, whatever. So press up position jacks is first. This is it guys, 90 seconds. A little bit more than that. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep going guys, keep going, keep going. This is your last one, last fight. No funnies at the end. This has been tough enough. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And change into your shoulder exercise. Whichever one you're doing. You bring it around to the front if you want, to the side. Foxy feet for here we go. So this time I'm gonna do plank jacks. Really pulling that stomach muscles. So it's like sliding on these mats. It's a dry bit. Keep going. And again, shoulders, shoulders. Up straight into it, up and at them. Here we go, 45 seconds left. 
on the beeps to finish. Let's go, let's give it some. position if you're sliding. Four, three, two, one and change. Here we go. Last bit. One. And rest. Amazing work tonight folks. That was a lot of cardio. Good strong work, really good strong work. Let's take a minute, catch a breath. Obviously, honestly, great work, guys, great work. A nice big deep breaths. Try and compose yourself as quick as you can, get your breathing back to normal as quick as you can. Best way to do that, take a few pants, big deep breath in through the nose, hold for a second, then breathe out, breathe normally, and then do that again. Back in the room, should we go again? <laughs> okay, amazing work folks, we just need to do a few stretches, so we'll kick off with our calf stretch. So in the present position, walk the hands back and stretch up with the carbs. Now make sure this back leg's nice and straight. And then change legs. Back leg straight, take one the other foot off the floor. Nice big stretch through those calves. Okay, we're gonna do a glute stretch. So we've got about three different sorts, our pigeon pose, ones where we sit up or reach through. I prefer this one. Okay, so it's a really good glute stretch. Now to bring the knee underneath the chest. Lower the chest down, walk the hands out, and stretch out the other leg behind you. As long as you've got a stretch in this part of your glutes, that's cool. Good, and change legs. Yeah, good stretch through the backside. And come up, come in, glutes, it's your engine. Everything's fine from there. Big muscles, lots of work. Okay, we're going to do a hamstring stretch. Can I do this sitting down or standing up? I prefer it standing up. I'll get a better stretch. Just as long as one leg's straight. Relax the feet, especially if you're sitting down to do this. Try not to pull the toes towards you. You want to stretch out your hamstrings. If you lift your toes or pull them towards you, Stretch goes into your calf. We've already done that. We want to hit the hamstrings. Sink down a little bit further just to extend the stretch. Now it's relaxed a bit. And coming up, swap sides. Again, make sure that front leg's locked out. All the weight's on the bent leg. Feet flat or relaxed and then lower the chest down. Sink a little bit lower. And let's 
come up and stretch out through the quads. Then like this, face down on your side or standing up. Either way, do it. Make sure you've got bring the knees together, push the hips forward, and push the shoe into the hands. So you're pushing down that way, pushing through that way. You get much better stretch through your quads. And do the seven near the leg. Okay, bring the knees together, push the hips through, push the shoe into the hand at the same time. And rest that. Just couple of upper body stretches. Do your chest stretch. The hands up small at the back, pull the shoulder blades back, squeeze the elbows back together behind you. Big stretch out through the chest. Okay, so remember guys, we make all these sessions quite challenging. So if you manage to keep up with all of it, it's really good. But don't get this hard. And the idea is you've always got somewhere to go. So if you find it tough, you just ease off a little bit. If you want to make it harder, you just push a little bit harder. So the idea is you get a really good workout and you can do it all rather than it's impossible uh, and it's kind of too, too hard. There's always options, we always give you options trying to take it down a gear, okay? So we always want somewhere to go, so you can always improve. It's easy, you will never get better. What happens is you just end up doing more. <laughs> okay, do your shoulder stretch. And do the same on the other side. And if you guys are into our running, the running clubs we do uh, this week, I'll post it on the running group on Facebook. But the main challenge this week is really low tides coming up towards the end of the week. So your challenge is to get out on the sand and get out for a run on the sand. You can easily social distance because the tide will be well out. But the best days are going to be Friday and Saturday, mornings and evenings. I'll stick some times on the Facebook group. I'll definitely see you down there on one of the days if you come in the morning. One of our favourite runs. Here we go. First tricep stretch. And same on the other side. It'll be really easy to social distance because I think it's Friday's best time at six and Saturday's best time at seven. And Wednesday's best time at five in the morning. <laughs> I won't see you at that one. And relax, uh, circle it out. Great work this evening, guys. Remember, tomorrow is our triple treat. We've got our stretch and flex, our, our Pilates with Claire, then Jason, then me again in the evening. A triple treat. Tuesday's triple treat. Okay, well done tonight, guys. Stay positive. Hopefully we'll get to the end of this soon, get out back outside soon. But uh, yeah, see you at the next one. Cheers.